Well, in the beginning, I would um, change techniques. I would make one piece that was coiled, one piece that was knotted. I think because I learned them, I, I was learning these techniques, and um, I took a summer class with Netta Avalali at UCLA one year, and I learned how to knot, and I might have learned how to twine then. So I made a few pieces twine. I didn't like that that much because it was too soft, but I, I like knotting. That was also made a hard form. Uh, Coily makes a hard form. And the whole idea was to build form. Um, coiling, coiling, you can change the shape and you can change the color anytime you want. Knotting, you have to have a warp and so it was all one color. It was very hard to change color because if you move a color, you had to take something out here and put it here in order to move this, just one line. I did some pieces where I just moved one line across the piece. And moving that line is a major physical activity because I am changing all these threads every time I move that line. I have to change the ratio of threads on the left or the right. But I like the challenge of working totally free and coiling, then I, the next piece I would make would be knotted. So that was all about limiting myself and seeing the limits and how could I work out of limits where in coiling I could do anything and I had to find the limits. So I'd be going back and forth. Um, at some point I wanted to make something that was softer so I wanted to make the structure, and I ended up giving up knotting at some point. Coiling seemed a lot um, more comfortable for me to use. I didn't have to have a warp. I could do whatever I wanted with it. And I, maybe I didn't want the limits anymore, and I can limit myself just through color and coiling. And then I just wanted softness. I, I wanted a place where I felt more vulnerable, and I started twining for that reason. When I was working on the last piece that I just finished, uh, images start coming into my mind. I get a color in my mind and I get a size. The color usually remains. That's the one thing that remains is the color. The size, uh, I start with the size that was in my mind, but very quickly I'm just creating a line. I'm creating, I'm just wrapping a line. And I'm, I just start playing with that line. I start twisting it and turning it and then I just start making connections at some point you know I see a shape that I like something that the line is doing and I'll connect it and then I'll go for a while which means I wrap and I make these connections and then I'll, I'll, I'll pull it out somewhere else and I'll make another line by the time I do that I've totally lost the image any image that I had in my mind is gone and I am living with that piece right in front of me and just working it out. And uh, at the moment, this piece that I'm working on, it was going to be a wall piece. It might be a wall piece. It might also be a, a standing piece. And there are already problems that I'm seeing. I'm going, well, wait a minute. I don't like this shape. What am I doing here? But I can keep going. In terms of doing my work, I only need to know the next step.